Hi, I'm Laura Ray and I'm here with my 2020 holiday box. I'm so excited to share the products that I've curated just for you. These are products I've used all year that I'm planning to give to family and friends for the holidays. Anna Luisa is a brand of jewelry I've been wearing for a couple of years. They so kindly sent me three pieces of jewelry that I absolutely love. Their jewelry is so affordable. Not only did they send me three pieces, but I went afterwards and bought four pieces. And one of them I'm using as the giveaway today. It's this one I'm wearing here. I love hearts. When I received this from Anna Luisa, I said, I want one of my subscribers to have it too. So I purchased it with my own money. I want to share with you today the three pieces that Anna Louisa so generously sent me to keep, and then the four that I bought as gifts. You all have been so kind and supportive of my channel. I thought that a heart was appropriate for the giveaway. This is a puffed heart, and what I love about this is not only the heart, but the chain. The chain is absolutely stunning. It really stands out. And I think what is great about this piece is it goes with something like this, like a nice satin button-down shirt, as well as jeans. I'm mostly in jeans and a t-shirt, and this looks great with that too. This second piece is a moonstone. Look at even the clasp of this, how beautiful this is. Everything looks very luxurious. You'd never believe the prices that they have. They're all very affordable. And of course, when you catch a sale, then you really get a great deal. This moonstone piece I love. They're actually the clasp. I couldn't put this on myself. Usually I need a little help from my husband, but this really worked out beautifully. And this is the second piece that they sent. And again, this is a moonstone and I think it's just very stunning. One thing I love about Anna Luisa is they're environmentally conscious from the sourcing of their product all the way through their packaging. Look at what a beautiful package that the jewelry comes in. That was one thing I was excited about for the gifts that I'm giving. I'll be able to send it in this and it's just going to look so luxe and beautiful. This necklace again is another one I love. It's got the little key and lock in the shape of a heart and I think it's absolutely adorable. I think these pieces look great stacked too. I've put all three on now so that you can see them, but I like this look. I think it's very beautiful depending on what you're wearing. I think this could look gorgeous. I bought these next two pieces for my best friend. I hope she's not watching, but it's a star and a moon necklace and earrings. And they have beautiful like little stones in them that are very sparkly, just gorgeous. I know she's going to love it. Now the next piece I bought for my daughter and it's hanging pearls. And she doesn't like really big earrings. She likes to just put her earrings in and leave them sometimes for days, the same earrings. And I know these will just go with everything and they just look so classic. Now, again, the fourth piece was the giveaway piece that I purchased for one of you. If you're interested in the giveaway, all you need to do is just leave me a comment below. Anna Luisa is having a Black Friday sale, and I'm sure I'll be buying a couple more pieces for family and friends. If you're interested in looking at their jewelry, just go to the description beneath my video. There's a code there for you to use. I don't get any commission. It's just simply for you. And again, I want to thank Anna Luisa for sending me these three pieces and for motivating me to buy these for my family and friends. This holiday, I am giving some Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I have loved this, and I want my family to enjoy it too. Of all the shades, which I have each actually a couple more than this I think in my collection but this pearl 001 is the one I'll give away because it really goes with anything you can take any lipstick and elevate it to a new level I have it on right now right in the center of my lips but I put it over lip pencil many days now the other thing that's sort of new to me that I just think I, could, I know right now a friend that would love this is the Honest Beauty Lip Tint Balm. This goes on beautifully and has the same feel as the Clinique, the uh, Black Honey that I talk about so much. It's about half the price. It's very moisturizing and I love the color that I bought. I bought Plum Drop but there are so many shades that I want to try. I was so impressed with this. And then I have a friend that I can think of that needs just a little brightness in her day. Uh, this year has been challenging for so many people, and I'm going to give her this. This is the Flower Beauty uh, Day Glow. It just brightens my face. Whenever I feel like my skin looks dull, I just put a little bit on my cheek, and boom, you know, I feel like I look so much happier, and it gives such a glow that's perfect for mature skin. Whenever my skin looks dull, I go to this. It's from Mother Made. It's their exfoliating aqua peel. Now I used something like this, I've talked about it before, at a salon and the price of it was around $89. So much for the same amount of product. This is so much less and works just as well. It takes off that surface level of skin and just really brightens the skin. So I use this 
typically once or twice a week. And that's really my only exfoliator that I use on my skin. Now, another product that I love is from uh, Queen Bee. It's a peeper keeper. I've talked about this so many times. If you know of someone that's complaining about dry skin, maybe in the under eye area or crow's feet or wrinkles, I think this is such an amazing product. You can carry this with you too in your purse. And even if my cuticles are dry or anywhere where I feel I have dry skin, I just tap a little of this in and I'm good to go. These Nivea lip balms, where would I be without them? I started with one and just kept multiplying. This set comes in a set of four and I think makes a beautiful gift. Some women aren't wearing much makeup now because they're home so much, but they're complaining, of course, like all of us, our lips are drier. And we're approaching winter when our lips are gonna get even drier. What I love about these Nivea lip balms is they give a little color to the lips. Many days, I just take this in my purse and swipe it across. I don't have to look in a mirror. I don't have to fuss with it. So I think these these just make an amazing gift. Starting typically in December, I wear red nails every week. I just love red. I don't know, I'm very traditional. I like it at Christmas and especially at Valentine's Day too. But my all time favorite polish that I want every lady to have is the ILNP. This brand is a very small company, but their nail polish, I first read about them in Women's World and they said how they were free of a lot of chemicals that are in other polishes. And when I saw that they made holographic polish, I went for it. I've had beautiful shades from them, beiges and pinks. They make so many unique colors too, but I'm wearing the red right now and I'll probably be wearing this all month. If you know of someone that's told you that their nails are cracking or they just don't seem to grow anymore, I've had several friends tell me that, I always recommend this Nail Aid. This is a keratin three-day growth. This makes your nails grow really fast. It makes them hard. This is under $4. It's incredible. So many of you have purchased it this year and written me back to say how much you love it and that it's just saved your nails. And so I'm really happy about that. A lot of times I am a no-fuss person with nails. I deal with so many papers at school that my nails can chip easily. So I like using this pink armor nail gel because it goes on clear, but when you get outside or around the lights, it looks pink. So you almost look like you had a French manicure, but all you're doing is painting this on just like you would any clear polish. This lasts, so if I know I'm gonna have a busy week and I'm not gonna have time to fuss with nails, I just put this on and I get over a week's worth of wear. This year, I've really experimented with my hair. I have tried different things. I've worn it curly, I've worn it straight. Some of you recently have been asking me, what am I doing when I wear it like this? So I wanted to show you something I bought myself last Christmas. I don't often buy myself Christmas gifts, but when I saw this from Hot Tools, I knew I needed to have it because it's always so hard. I have very fine hair, getting volume at the top, getting the brush underneath and holding the dryer and the brush. So when I saw this, I asked my hairstylist about it. I said, are those any good? Do you think that would help me and make it easier? And she said, absolutely. I love it. So I went out and bought it and it has been amazing for me. Now, one thing I like about the one from Hot Tools is is that it has a cool setting. So I will use the low setting. I never really use the high setting on this because I have such fine hair and I color my hair and do all kinds of things. So I don't use the high setting, I use the low. And then when it's mostly dry, I just use the cool setting. And what I like about this is I can really get up in those roots. It makes my hair really smooth. I used to have to straighten my hair after I would blow dry it. When I use this, I don't need a straightener. So it's much less damaging overall to my hair and I really like the way it looks when I'm done. Another tool I bought recently is this from Conair. It's a curling iron made for fine hair. I've never seen anything like this before. It's actually, this part is covered with like a silicone to protect your hair from getting scorched. And I absolutely love this. I've been using it now for around a month. It just came out, it's very recent. It has five settings. You can turn the dial here. It's just really easy to use. I've used it today just to put a little strategic curls in my hair. I've used this when it's curly or when it's straight just to add curls wherever I feel I need them. But this is great too if you have short hair. If you have shorter hair than mine, like I could see my mother using this. She has short hair and this is the barrel size, like a one inch is what she would use. So this is one of my new finds that I absolutely love. One thing I deal with is frizz. I have so much gray hair and it's so wiry and frizzy. It has like a life of its own. So I have really had to 
search for products to control it because it's not getting any better on its own. So one thing that I've used for well over a year is this wow. It's Color Wow. And I only put this on every three times I wash my hair. So I only wash my hair twice a week. So about every week and a half or so, I put this on. It takes away the frizz. It makes my hair so smooth. It really is a miracle worker on my hair. Now, another miracle worker has been the Olaplex number three. I've talked about this before. Before this came out, I was having Olaplex one and two done at the salon, and that's about $40 a treatment. This is the home treatment number three. I find I get the same results. This is $28, which seems like a lot, but I get several treatments out of this. And think of that, they were $40 before for one treatment. This is 28 and I can maybe get up to 10 treatments depending how much I use on my hair. And I love the way it bonds the hair, it smooths my hair, it keeps it from being so frizzy. So this is something I just can't be without. Brushes are so important. I have had this brush at least three years and I think everyone needs this brush. I use it when I get out of the shower. Also, even with wearing my hair straight, I like to brush through my hair with this. It doesn't pull, it doesn't tangle. If you have fine hair, it's a must have. This is the finger brush from Olivia Garden. I can't be without this because before I started using this, I was probably breaking my hair so much. I would get out of the shower and just brush it and that's when your hair is really at its weakest when it's wet and this does not pull on the hair and like I said I love using it when my hair is wet or dry so this has been something that's been so great for my hair so if you have fine hair I highly recommend this I want to share with you some of my favorite beauty tools I was so curious I kept looking on Amazon and this set of brushes that's under ten dollars all these brushes kept getting like the high almost five stars and I said, just out of curiosity, it's worth trying them. And I can't believe it. They're actually amazing. I want to show you my favorite brush. I have so many brushes and I don't have one like this. This is for your eyes, but it's flat on the top, almost like a mini kabuki brush. I love this for blending out my shadow. It's amazing, but I have washed these several times. The first time I washed them, I think I lost two hairs out of one of the larger brushes, but that was it. And since then I haven't seen one hair falling out of them, but it comes with four of the big brushes. Let me put my eye brush down here for the big brushes and a fan brush. I love putting on blush with a fan brush or if I'm using powder highlighter. It just gives a lighter application and you can build much easier. But look at the rest of these. These are all eye brushes. I can't believe these are under $10. They are amazing. So if you're wanting to try some new brushes or you know someone that needs brushes and you don't want to spend a lot of money, I definitely would purchase these. I know a lot of people love makeup wipes, but my skin is so sensitive. I can't can't even use wipes anymore. So I was in search of something that was also sustainable. I like being able to just wash things in the washing machine and use them over and over and over again. Well, I found this. It's Broken Wallace Beauty and Skin Care. I love this little bag that it comes in. And look at what you get. This is a laundry bag to wash these in. These are all eye makeup remover pads. They are so super soft. I absolutely love these. And then look, you also get for your hair, to pull your hair back. It's got Velcro and you just slide it around and keep your hair back while you're washing your face. This makes, look at it, it's even got a little tag here in satin. This is an amazing gift to give away. When I saw this, I thought, oh, my mom would love those because she's all about sustainability and not wasting and all the packaging kind of stuff like that. So I know she'll love these and the fact that it has the little bag that you can put them in when you wash. When I washed these, even though they were in this bag, they all came out clean and beautiful and ready to take off makeup. I do know my mom is watching this and she's going to know most of her gifts by the end of this video. But one of the things that I have loved so much this year are these silicone brushes. I use them all the time for my skincare, for applying sunscreen, for just putting my moisturizer on and blending it out. I also like using this brush right here for like cream highlighter or blush, just patting it into the skin. It works so nicely. So these again are under $10 and make a great stocking stuffer. 
Please excuse my messy sponge, but this shows that I love it. This is my little angel food cake stands out sponge. It is amazing. Right now, too, I wanted to mention I am wearing the Believe Beauty Foundation from Dollar General. So many of you have asked me about it. I love it. It's $5. It looks so luxe. It's in a glass bottle, everything. But I'm wearing that, and I applied it with this sponge. I like that this sponge really smooths everything out, not just foundation, but I will go around my cream blush around the edge just like this. I will sort of smush it and go into these corners when I'm applying my concealer or brightener. But this sponge, and it does wash great. I have found, I have a bar of goat's milk soap and I rub it over that and it just, all of it comes out and it looks white and clean just like it was when I purchased it. But this sponge you use dry, you don't use with water, which I love not having to hassle with water and getting the right amount in the sponge. So this is one that my mom will find in her stocking. A few years ago, I purchased the Nurse Jamie Roller. I love it. It has held up beautifully, but I wanted to see if I could find one that was more affordable. So I purchased this from Youth Lab and I love it just as much. Actually, this one, the bottom rotates too. I like using this on other places than my face. I roll my arms under my arms. I also love it on my neck when my neck is bothering me in the back. So this is just really great. The only thing I do want to say, if you have any kind of pacemaker or anything like that, this is not meant for you or for anyone who's pregnant. But otherwise, I just really love this roller. I like it for the under eye area. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I wake up at four o'clock, so that's pretty early. And I will have puffy eyes underneath sometimes, depending on what's going on with my allergies. So I love to use this. It's just so relaxing. This is something you can do while you watch TV, and it makes a fun gift. This is the closest I've come to a facelift so far, and it's this. It's these gua sha tools. I absolutely am in love with these things. I actually use them on my husband, too, for his neck and back when he gets back pain. I've read of people using them on their feet for plantar fasciitis. I've heard of people using them in parts of their back for back pain. But this tool set has four. I bought this recently, and I'm so glad that I did. This one, to me, looks like a little fish, but I love this for under the eye. Now, I have a whole video showing me doing a facial with a gua sha tool and you can see I do half my face and the one half does look very lifted. You can see a difference or at least I could and many of you could when you do the facial. Now when I do the facial just to give you a little summary I start with the neck and then I go to the chin area pulling this area up and then I work on this area of the face. Then I go, you work your way up the face. I go under the eye. And this really helps get serums to penetrate too. And then I do the forehead like this and lift this way. But what I find when I do this is I find all kinds of knots in my face, especially in my eyebrows. I think because I'm so expressive at school all day, but I'll find these little knots. And when I work out the knots, my face seems to just be so much more relaxed and looks more lifted. So what I do when I do this is I just use this oil. It's just jojoba oil, plain organic jojoba oil, and that's it. But if you have a favorite serum that you like that has uh, different things like jojoba in it or coconut oil, that's all you need. And when you're done, you have the most beautiful luminous skin. It's absolutely amazing. I first saw these on my friend Anne's channel, Beauty by Anne Marie. These are absolutely stunning. They're jeweled bra straps. I just have a bra where they're removable straps. I put these on and I'm planning to wear this on Christmas Eve with this top. I'm not going anywhere Christmas Eve. I'll be home and I'll actually be doing a Zoom Christmas Eve with my parents. And so I'm just planning to be very casual, jeans and this top, and I'll be good to go. When I'm around the house, I love to wear yoga pants. So I bought these two shirts to go with them. I like that the top is longer. I love the cute little knot. It's very comfortable. It's thin enough to where I don't get overheated, yet will keep me warm in the fall months and maybe even into winter since I'm here in Florida. But this is so great for just being around the house or running errands. The winner of last week's giveaway is in the first pinned comment. And again, all you need to do to enter the giveaway for the Anna Luisa necklace is just leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you what you enjoyed from the video. I hope you all will have a blessed and beautiful holiday season. Thanks for watching.